All right, here we are. 1941 Sears Silvertone phonograph AM radio. I have taken it out of the cabinet. Um, I went ahead and covered up the entire speaker cardboard. Sides and bottom because, well, I don't really trust anything and I might just poke a hole in it. Pretty rough shape as far as dirt's combined. I mean, it hasn't been touched. <laughs> Looking underneath the thing. <sighs> Get some light here. There we go. A lot of wax caps in there. Looks like it's had some work done in it at some time. There's a new socket in here. Um, I'm not, this doesn't look like it's the same as all the others. That might be a replacement also. And I believe the cord was probably changed out at one time too, just from looking at it. Um, that was soldered back on and and what have you there, but um, looks like everything's in place. All the tubes are in the, all the correct tubes are in, in the right sockets. I have it on my dim bulb and my variac. We're gonna bring it up slowly and um, see what it sounds like first before we do any work to it. Okay, here we go. about 30 volts there getting a little bit of light pull that cut that there a little bit of light there let's go up a little more 50 volts 70 volts. And now we're starting to get sound. Yep. Definitely uh, filter cap issues. I don't want to leave it on too long. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of work on replacing some caps because you've seen plenty of people replace caps before. It's not that amazing. And then uh, I'll start cleaning up the tubes a little bit. I'll double check. I'll pull all the tubes and uh, do them on the tube tester just to make sure you know, at the very least, we have the amplifier section of it going. I don't know about the radio section. Maybe the... We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll have to pull the tubes and test them all and make sure they're all good. And then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Got all the caps placed on the bottom half. All good there. I have a couple other ones up on top here. And I had a resistor that was off by quite a bit, so I replaced that too. Then, start looking around, make sure I didn't miss anything. And underneath this, this cover here, there's another one down there. I don't think there's any others. I think it's just the 01 down there. So looking at this radio, it looks like I have to put some screws down here on either side. And I might be able to pull this away so I can uh, pull this whole assembly here away, that way. And uh, hopefully it'll give me some access 
to that cap down there because it looks like that's the last one I got. And then uh, the electrolytics are next. And then we'll give it a test fire. Well, I look for a place to put the new filter caps. I couldn't find a place that was clean enough looking. So I went ahead and removed this stock one out. Here it is here. Had an old soldering iron, really big one, to get these uh, solder joints hot enough to get this thing out. So um, I'll cut the top, the top of this off here and uh, restuff those with uh, the new caps, put it back together, probably just solder a couple spots to keep the can on, mount it back up, and then we'll be in business. Just keep on going. Okay, I did a few things here. I went ahead and put uh, new filter caps in. I was gonna try to restuff the uh, can, and I just, I mangled the can, so I just decided to go ahead and just put the uh, capacitors in where they needed it in the circuit, and I had to move a couple of resistors from up here down in here, which is fine. So anyway, started it up. I'm getting a hum, not a hum, but I'm getting sound. But that's it, slight hum still. So I gotta go through, I probably got a grounding issue somewhere, but now that I got everything recapped, I'll double check all the resistors, see if I have anything there going on. I'll check the coils, see if I have anything there, and just start troubleshooting what we got, and go from there. Well, new tube is in. Uh, it came in the other day, so I was able to stick that thing in there. Cleaned up the face. Went through underneath and repositioned that spring for the dial. And put in a new power cord. Next uh, is to clean up this, see how that looks, and then uh, we'll start it up and see how it sounds. All right, um, I'm gonna keep working on this, clean it up with a little bit of alcohol. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of brass so see if I can polish this stuff, like maybe in a small corner somewhere where you won't really notice and see how that works. But anyway, uh, radio's hooked up, to uh, tubes in. We're going to plug it in now and see how it goes here. Now, my speaker is still covered completely because I didn't want to poke any holes in it. So the sound won't be as loud as it should, but you'll still hear it. So I'll leave for the... Uh, noise in the speaker to come up and then I'll go ahead and tune it. Uh, and the terrible things that happened in Washington. We're going to talk today about Senator Joe Manchin and a profile in courage. We have done a profile in corruption. That is apparently real President Joe Manchin according to Kamala Harris. We're going to talk about Plenty of volume. Today. We're going to talk about the fact that Trevor. they may be back. The Clintons may be back in So the tone control life. works nice. Uh, and nice. The volume works nice. Of the country by um, like I said, it's covered up, so bit, it's a little uh, later in the show. muffled. Speaking of never infecting, never ending plagues, in fact, um, we'll talk about COVID. Looks like the dial's working good now. And we're going to talk in the 4 o'clock hour about what World War II <laughs> and speed limits can teach us about the way this country it's a nice little radio yeah phono switch is here it's not plugged in obviously um but i'm probably gonna hook up since this is gonna be in my living room i think what i'm gonna do of the country we're in new york city today and i get to tell you walking around it is not we're not in florida anymore mr schweitzer is um this my lights are making all kinds of noise on this thing. It's picking up all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to do another Bluetooth install on this one. 
Um, I'll probably do a little bit easier hookup than before. Before I had to go in and hardwire stuff in. This I can actually, if I wanted to, just do a because it's got the phono plug in here for the phonograph. I can just do a a Y into that, and then it's got an outlet over here. I can actually. I have a couple different ways I can put up the power. Um, in the past, I've wired up essentially one of these deals in the wall warts in, and it works fine. I can also tap into the uh, <coughs> heater voltages and do a little circuit and lower that down if I want to, also. So, there's a couple of different options. I'll, I'll see what I'm going to do. But it sounded good. It's got good volume and everything. Um, this is next. Try to polish that up. And then work on the phonograph. Okay, real quick. Um, get on the light here. This is the side without polishing it up with Brasso. Now, I've used Brasso on wood and plastic. I even use it on... Uh, dial gauge like like this here that was completely yellow and I polished that up and it's all clear now so I hit it on this now this is this side that I just did quite a difference yep so I'll do the entire thing and uh, see how it turns out To fail. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas has announced plans to fill gaps. Under the guidelines, oh, this is progress. So now I'll work on the photograph. <laughs> 